underway. Come on, Cookie, the chauffeur of the TAA Avanti 41 car. No start. Ray Gotzi was very slow to move up. Gene Cook loves to sweep into the first corner. If he does it on this tighter track, he'll wipe a lot of them out. One of the most consistent good drivers the sports produce. Gene Cook races at Bathurst in the James Hardy 1000 and just loves his speedway. He's been driving since 1969. Let's hope he's in form tonight. Off the top turn, they've got the green. Ray Godsey goes quickly to turn number one. Godsey in front, Cook in two. Running three is Brightville and tailing out Paul O'Neill. Godsey loves driving on these small tracks. And he has the lead as they come up the home straight away. Ray Godsey leads to the back straight away. Gene Cook in second, Kenny Brightbull third, and tailing out Paul O'Neill. Once more to the home straight, Cook slowed a little then. Now has Kenny Brightbull chasing him. Brightbull looking for the inside pass. Not this time. White flag out with one lap to go. Starting the final lap with Ray Gotzi heading out. Gene Cook of Tasmania running in third spot. Kenny Brightbill. Well, the Americans picking up big points in the opening heats. Second heat going to Ray Gotzi. Picks up three points. Gene Cook two. Kenny Brightbill one. O'Neill would love to get a bit of acceleration off the outside line. He's got Combs, a small track specialist inside. They move up the straightaway. We have a start. Combs wins the jump. Gene Cook was keen to go on with it as they go to the back straightaway. Paul O'Neill in second place, but Gene Cook wants to go past him and go chase the leader. Combs is still in front as they come off the top turn. Combs leads going on to the back straight away. The Australians running in second and third. That at least will keep the points level pegging. Once more off the top turn and to the straight away. Gene Cook looking for a pass on Paul O'Neill. Obviously feels he can do better with the race leader. But Rodney Combs has gone for the doctor in car number one. He's off the top turn and coming to the home straight away with one lap to go. Running down the back chute. Rodney Combs, the American captain, will pick up three. And Australia's Paul O'Neill, Gene Cook, will pick up second and third. There's the checkered flag. Three points apiece out of that heat. Rodney Combs of the United States picking up the three points for first. Second, Paul O'Neill, and third, Gene Cook. The TAA special on the front line, Gene Cook. Donnie Moran off the top turn, Cook's got the jump, up the main straight away, Moran on the outside, but Cook's got the line to the corner, there's no chance for the American to cut down, Cook's in front as they go to the back straight away. The two Americans running side by side as they get to the top turn, but Cook's put his nose in front for the first time, an Australian car coming back at him on the inside now is Moran. The 23 year old American looking for the way through on the inside, Cook manages to try and hold him down, in fact he does so, but really has to screw the 41 car around in order to stay in front. Coming off the top turn, it's now the American coming to the inside once more, no room there. That's the water hazard for tonight. Once more to the back straight away, Gene Cook looks like hoisting Australia's colours for the first time this Australia Day weekend. The white flag flying, he's one lap from a win, almost stops in turn number three. Can he hold out for one more lap? They start the final Lap of heat number four with Cook in front. Hotly in pursuit comes Moran, followed by Godsey. The checkered flag is flying and it's been a while coming. Cook all but stops in that final corner. Back on the pedal, goes to the wire and Gene Cook wins. On the Australia Day weekend, Gene Cook, thank you. Posting our first win, three points to Gene Cook. The Americans... Coming in second and third placing.
Second row, Walter Giles, who's a little at sea tonight, hasn't quite settled down on this tight circuit. And Kenny Brightbill from Pennsylvania, 39 years of age, outside in the second row. Heat number five, about to get underway. Tom Stewart has the green flag at the ready if they're evenly through the corner. No. Wait a minute, if you wouldn't mind, Mr. Godsey. Let's do that once more. Graham pulls alongside. Looking for an even start. Come off the top turn. Have the start and Graham goes for the doctor, tries to cut down track. Manages to do so, but can he get on line going to the back straightaway? Godsey comes back at him on the inside as they go down the back straightaway. Godsey have to give ground. And Barry Graham has the lead. Graham in front as they come up the main straightaway and Australia's also running in third. Once more through the top turn. Ray Godsey coming back at Barry Graham, still holding on to third. That's another point for Australia. Walter Giles, he's holding out Kenny Brightbill. Home straightaway once again. Barry Graham leading for Australia, the captain of the Down Under team as they go to the back shoot. Once more coming to that inside is Ray Godsey. Nowhere to pass on that corner. The white flag out, there's one lap to go if Barry Graham can keep a nose in front. Starting the final lap, Graham sweeps in, tries to stay low, blocking off a chance for an inside pass. Nowhere for Godsey to go and it looks like Australia will get two on a trot and pick up a third. Final corner and Barry Graham will win. Heat number six, the halfway mark. Paul O'Neill, our national champion, starts position one. Kenny Brightbill from two. Rodney Combs from three and Barry Graham is back out there from four. Ready for a start, the green flag is in the air. Paul O'Neill from Lismore. On the inside, give it a footfall, Paul, as they come to the wire. It's acceleration that'll determine the first corner. Brightbill goes high, Paul O'Neill low. They go to the back straight away. O'Neill, it's got ahead. Down the back straight away, it's Paul O'Neill, the national champion, leading for Australia, America second and third. Putting in a respectable run, the Australians coming back at the United States as they go to the back straight away. To the inside comes Kenny Brightbill, nowhere to go. Paul O'Neill, 26 years of age, in front, driving the John Chan special. Stays low, sweeps, gives it a football and drives it out of the corner. Brightbill not a threat. That time into turn number two, only one more lap and O'Neill can post a victory for Australia. Sweeping into the back straight away, O'Neill on line and driving away from the opposition. Making it three wins in a row for Australia. Final corner to the chequered flag, Paul O'Neill. How do you like that one, Uncle Sam? Three wins in a row for Australia on the Australia Day weekend. Paul O'Neill, 26 years of age. Donnie Moran and Barry Graham off the front row. Heat number seven, four points the difference, America lead, they've got the green. Up the main straightaway, Donnie Moran has got the jump. But Australia is running second and in third place, so that's good, the scores won't change. Down the back straightaway, Graham looked like he was about to have a go at the number four car as they come back to the home straightaway. Donnie Moran remains to turn one and still in front. Graham almost out of shape, hangs on to second place, going to the back straightaway. Ray Godsey tailing out at this stage. They come back to the home straightaway once more in heat number seven. Donnie Moran. Clearing out on the opposition. Ray Godsey starting to stick a nose in underneath Paul O'Neill to try and claim third with one lap to go. Paul O'Neill determined to hang on to spot number three. Knows it's worth one point to Australia. Final time, checkered flag flying. Australia at least in second and third so we don't lose in the margin of points separating the two. 
The win to Donnie Moran, but keeping Australia in there. <laughs> he threatened to do that two laps in a row. Keeping Australia in there, level pegging points wise. Paul O'Neill and Barry Graham, who together picked up three points. So at the completion of Heat 7, run in a time of 62.19, 62.19, America 23, Australia 19. 20. Alder Giles from Hazelbrook in the Blue Mountains. Second row, Bright Bill and Gene Cook. They come off the top turn. We're ready for heat number eight. We have the green, and Giles has got a good start. As they go to the first corner, Walter Giles has got the lead. Back straight away. Giles moves ahead of Rodney Combs of the United States with Gene Cook knocking at the door in third. A good win for Australia if we can stay in front. Main straight away. Giles giving palpitations to the half as he goes to the back straight away looking as though he's about to drop out and spin around but he manages to keep it straight regathers coming through the turn almost into the water now gets out of shape comes back down track to block out the American Walter don't do this to us back straight away once more he's still in front Gene Cook looking for a way to get past the man running second the American captain they come to the main straight away he does it again one more lap to go. Can Giles hang in there? Almost out of shape as he goes to the back straight away. Look at him wheel wrenching the number 91 car. Please take it carefully, Walter. Stay where you are in front. Final corner, Orbit stops, puts the nose down, and he'll win it. Walter, would you stop doing that to us? Talk about giving people heart failure. Ladies and gentlemen, first to the chequered flag, being congratulated enthusiastically by his pit crew, Walter Giles for Australia. Coming up the main straightaway, only two points the difference, and we have Gene Cook on the front row. Barry Graham in the second row. This takes us to the three-quarter way in the test series. Kenny Brightbill and Gene Cook are the same age. 39, both have been racing about the same amount of time. One's from Tassie, one's from Pennsylvania. The green flag at the ready. Come on, Gene. Give it a footfall. He does, main straight away, we have a start. And Gene Cook goes to the lead. Now all we need is Barry Graham to sneak through and grab a third. Now the back straight away, Graham is looking for third. Kenny Brightbill. Tap, 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 and Graham gets into third. Going to the back straight away, it's Gene Crook up high. He's in the marbles. This will level us. This could level the test series as they go through the top turn. It's Gene Cook for Australia in the lead. Cook goes up very high as he lost it. Down the back straight away, great ball on the inside, Cook regains. Main straight away, one lap to go. Final time around, Gene Cook puts the pedal to the metal, goes to the back straight away, and this is a top heat for Australia. Final corner, the chequered flag waiting, and it's Gene Cook at Tasmania, the winner! Gene Cook, Gene Cook and Barry Graham have levelled the score. Australia is tied with America. Godsey poised for a start. Come on, Paul, off the top turn. It's up to acceleration. Up the main straight away. The jump won by Godsey goes into turn number one. O'Neill comes back on the inside. Down the back straight away. A good piece of driving by Paul O'Neill on a difficult track. And look at Walter Giles knocking at the door. This will give Australia the lead. Sweeping to the back straight away. It's a mistake by Paul O'Neill. Giving the lead back to Godsey. Australia now running second and third, so the points are still level pegging. This will be a tied heat unless there's a change. Once more to the back straight away. Giles holding on to third and Rodney Combs tailing out. The white flag will be up this time around. Paul O'Neill not giving up the chase. But at this stage, Godsey's established a good lead. Final time sweeping through turn one and to the back straight away. Jacket flag flies this time and 
Ray Gotze is moving away in this one. The checkered flag is out and Gotze will win this heat. Gotze home first. Second, Paul O'Neill. Whoops, a daisy. Walter Giles out of shape, but he still got to the checkered flag third. That's a tied heat, even though victory went to the American. Ray Gotze. Ready for a start. 30 points apiece. Second last heat. Giles will have to do a desperate from the outside. If he's to win the first turn, they come off that corner. Giles has got his foot down. He might get there. To turn number one, and Giles has got there. Can he keep it in line? Goes to the back straight away. Bright ball goes to him on the inside. Can't get past there. Walter, can you stay in front for us? Main straightaway. Australia's running in third place as well. Paul O'Neill fighting a rear guard action to hold out Donnie Moran, but in front is Walter Giles as they go down the back straightaway. Running in second spot, Kenny Brightville, stay out of the lake. Oh, come on, Walter, straighten up. Out of shape up the main straightaway, but still the leader. Giles fighting that steering wheel in all directions. He goes down the back chute. Can he hang together for one more lap? Can Walter Giles stay in front for one more lap? The two cars touch in the main straightaway. This again will be a tied heat because Australia's still running second and third if Walter can stay there. Final corner coming up. Kenny Brightville's in front. He'll go on and win. Walter Giles second. And third home, Paul O'Neill. Walter, why do you do this to us every heat? <laughs> The end result is the same though, we have three points apiece, so we're going to go into the final heat, level pegging on points. They're even Stephen coming off turn number four. We have a fair start, who will win the jump? Up the main straight away, Graham and Rodney Combs are level pegging at the top turn. Graham gets the lead as they go to the back straight away, and that's blocking out. Gene Cook, look at Combs come back on the inside to grab the lead. And now it's Barry Graham in second place. The Americans are running in third as well. Up the main straight away. Gene Cook pulling everything out to try and get into third place as they go down the back straight away. The Americans will win the test series if the points don't change in this one. Rodney Combs in front. Combs dives in high. Barry Graham comes back at him on the inside as they run down the back straight away. Gene Cook is out of this one, it's Barry Graham still in front. One lap to go in the test match. The final lap begins. Barry Graham in front, this will be a tie unless Graham is beaten. Combs comes back on the inside to take the lead away from Graham. The final corner, and America will win the test series if they finish this way, America will win. Rodney Combs, the American captain, Rodney Combs, the American captain, defeating Barry Graham, the Australian captain, and third to the chequered flag. Ray Godsey in car number two.